Hello, hello, folks, and welcome back to the Witcher Tree Wild Hunt. My heart aches the, at the idea of this coming to an end. I truly don't want this to be the end of Geralt's Ark. It hurts me that it, this is the case. It truly does. It is truly a beautiful game. And... It honestly kills me that this is the end of it. The sooner we developed inter in, you know, interdimensional travel, the sooner that that'll be fine. We'll f you know, go far enough, I'm sure we'll find a, you know, a setting that fully follow, you know, a reality that full fully follows this gameplay of Geralt of Witcher. You know, just take enough, to just you know, just take enough time, you know. I do love the whole infinite reality, infinite possibility thing, even if it's not a anyway factually accurate sort of malarkey, you know? Um, I need to fix the door. You, sir, shouldn't exist. Oh, I thought I broke it. I guess I just blasted it off the hinges. Well, um, forced it open. But anyway. Um... Even if it is in any way accurate or on, it's still a fun thing to think about, you know? That anything you could conceive of is real. Because it, it just gets ridiculous and fun, you know? But, uh, anyway. There's a few quests in the game that if you leave them, if you, like, say, get the quest and move away, you actually lose the quest. Um, there's another one over in Skellige. That's the same. There's a guy chained... up... right here. His sister is over here. And basically, she apparently falsely accused her uncle of raping her, sending her brother into a f fury, and he kills the uncle. Thing is, killing an Aralta for any reason is punishable with being... Remember what happened to the chick that uh, she wanted to establish a... Uh, a, a monarchy, a, uh, a dynastic monarchy? Yeah. You know what happened to her, being chained to the rocks and... Ocean killed. Yeah, that's what's going to happen to him now because of his sister. The sister just didn't like the uncle. Just, eh. So let's accuse him of raping me. Ugh. Can we chain her to the rocks? Let's go! Ugh, eyes are acting up. Tried to reset my sleep schedule yesterday. Uh, stay up all day, go to bed late. Uh, go to bed at a proper time so I can wake up at a fair time. Still end up only really waking up at 12. Mum tried to wake me at t half 10, but I keep, just kept passing out. Out of hell of a time staying awake as void. When I like when I wake up, just staying awake. Hmm. Typical. How dare you be close for the protagonist? Just looked ominous and creepy. Ow. Ow. 
back is rightly hardened. Kind of doing. Oh, no. He's kind of doing himself out of money doing this. Um. I can't do anything. I'm stuck here. Yeah, the horse just... I... Listen. I can't do anything. I think this guy is important for a quest. After you out, completely stuck. Is racist at elves like Gaston. Alright, let's try this again. And let's not get stuck on Roach. Roach, pretend I don't. You know, I'm just a ghost haunting it. Won't let me dismount or anything. Move. And just trigger trying to and just triggered Roach to jump. Well to get up on its back legs. the gunners. Yet again. My darling Jocelyn, I trust this letter found you in good health. You are aware, for how could you not be, of what passion I feel for you and how overwhelm overwhelmingly I long for you to become my husband. Yet still we are to stand at the marital altar. Surely you also understand I must guard myself appropriately to prepare for a wedding befitting such a moment. Already have an organdy dress but no slippers. I the latest rage in the Empire slippers made of giant centipede hide. So I ask you, my darling, to hunt, my darling love, to hunt such a beast for me, or two, to make sure the sh shoemaker doesn't run out of material. Bow the guns. So guys, guys, out on fools, er, m you know, fool errands, uh, uh, fools errands, trying to get them killed. Why? Is she just like a... Is she just a goit like the Skelga chick or... Uh, this is probably a vampire.
You know, I rarely actually notice the lines on the mini map. Sometimes I do, though. Like right now. I hate giant centipedes. Just stand still and die. Finally. Finally, you little shit. Oh, need to put back on the glasses. Looks great without them, but, um... I'm sorry, the glasses really add something. This first sounds familiar. But yeah, wi Witch Man! Does whatever a Witch Man can. <coughs> Leaping Libiota! We're saved! Leaping Libiota jumps over the candlestick. No hero, just a witcher. Slaying monsters is my job. Brave and humble! Oh my! Oh ho ho ho! Run this vineyard all by our lonesome? Oh, no. My father's the vintner. Oh, an excellent one, too. I merely help out. So where's your father? In the hospital. After he was wounded by those monsters. But he gets better by the day. What are you offering? What can I buy? The best herbs in all Tucson! Someone else promised me that before. One of you is lying. This is funny. It's just like the game's over. I just calling it junk. Mandrake root, the vague shape of a person. Mm. Unnerving. Head, two legs, two arms. Take care. Please, do stop in if you're ever around. Greetings. <coughs> Greetings. Okay, where now? I do believe I have enough money now for the, um... Taxman Comet quest, but still. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing this, I'll check in on that later. Toussaint can boast many well-famous vineyards, such as Castle 
uh, Casa Rovio, Pamelo, Vimento, and Tufu. Their owners take great care to maintain the time tested traditions and heirloom recipes on which the reputation of the wines they produce rests. But Toussaint is also home to a number of smaller vineyards who do not even possess their own crests, and whose wine have yet to win any particular renown, making it difficult to say much about them. Hortense is just such a place. Oh, over here is an another abandoned site. Overshot and freed one, but not the other. Damn it, Roach. Ah. Me, oh my! A witch fella! <laughs> witch fella. <laughs> Reminds me of the lady at the auctions who had had the bleeding blarney who Grout was, but was insistent on talking about him. So far, I've been lucky about not getting burned by a slizard. <clears throat> Actually, look, nothing but skill. Is that an option? Nope. You still to bust your Can I do something for you? from the north, but if you hadn't come, they'd still be wetting their breeches with beer. Thanks. Hmm? Yes? Oh, welcome. I only heard half of that, what he said. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> oh. Dearest cousin, based on what I gathered from your last letter, rumor about Belgard's overtaxed condition are not exaggerated. But in my opinion, there's no point on there's no point you waiting for the new owner. Uh, the procedures involved in transferring such an important vineyard will last months, and meanwhile the estate will fall into ruin. You wrote you had to fire all the vineyard's guards, who will now protect your wild animals. You know full well how many you of them work, a uh, work. The Carol ba uh, Carol Bottle Woods they could attack you at any moment. Word for you. Already spoken to Master Fa Fabrico, and he thinks a skilled steward such as yourself will quickly find work over here. Uh, so stop playing the hero and come join me. Await your I imminent, I hope, arrival. Uh, your governing cousin Emil Cassel Ravello. these four over here that I should be able to do now just fine. My hand shakes so bad. I cannot but drops. 
slow now. Okay, I misheard that. Oh, and lo and behold, I see Batman. What? I probably misheard that. Let me hire this little Myers. Just to fully partake in the ambience. Well, oh, just wolves. Feeling a little crummy earlier, but I feel a lot better now playing Witcher. Oh, rather crummy earlier. Come on. Come on. Stench of bisected corpses. <laughs> 